So again, that example, I'll play it uh, slow again and then just fast um, for you, just to give you an example again of how you can combine three different techniques together. So. It's a little faster. So you can see, as the more it's going to obviously get more complex as you add more techniques. But the thing is, you can group these in a way that makes it easier for you. So if you're very comfortable with, say, a pentatonic scale or a major scale or any scale for that matter, you can take that scale and partner it with a technique that's challenging for you. The reason for this is that only half of the time you're going to be having, uh, you're going to be challenging yourself outside of your comfort zone. You're going to have something you're comfortable with a transition to something new, which may be a little awkward, and then the new technique. That's a great way to kind of gradually get yourself into it. You don't want to start off by just picking two techniques you've never even tried before um, and just go and apply those. That's good. That's, uh, it's not going to be the most effective way to go about it. If you start with something that you're comfortable with and tag extra things on that you are new, that's new information for you, it'll make a much bigger difference. Um, so what I would suggest you do as a step to take this away, um, to take away from this, is create a list of all the techniques that you know and techniques that you are interested in learning. Um, whether the in, um, for the interested level or um, column, you know, you could be anything from technique um, styles that you're not comfortable with, um, styles you don't really um, know anything about. So if you're more of a blues guy, you probably don't do as much sweet picking, that sort of thing. Um, and then what you can do is you can simply just randomly for the day just kind of pick say I want to play this scale and I want to play this arpeggio and I want to combine them together and create an exercise for yourself so you're able to really get the hang of applying these but in a way that's more personal to you there are lots of exercises out there there's some examples in the uh, handout that you can go through that are great um, but to really personalize it you're going to want to take um, make it your own take an example of a technique that you're comfortable with something you're not comfortable with piece them together and create something musical that you can practice with that. So thank you guys.